Ne evening everybody, what's up? It's your DB here, and I'm presenting you today a video about Virgil's combat, his abilities, his skills, and the mastery of it. I won't be talking much during this little short segmented playthrough, because I want to show you the fundamentals of what you may expect in Virgil's downfall for DMC. Now the thing about Virgil, I'm not going to be giving you a tutorial or anything, in fact, I'm actually going to make this conversation between me and you very brief. Because I want you to observe the way you can play. The, um, Virgil does have, of course, his fundamental differences. He carries fewer weapons. He's a power-based character. He is covered in both close and far range. And more than one weapon can be used at a time. In fact, all of them can be used in conjunction. Uh, a max three, three and a half. Virgil comes with the Beowulf Gauntlets the Yamato, his basic Okatana, the Force Edge, another Claymore, just like the just like the Rebellion, and he has the Summon Swords, the little glass blades, the glass uh, shards of demonic power that are inspired by the Force Edge. You can use most of these attacks in conjunction with one another in order to raise your style meter. I won't be explaining or delving too much into it, Unless you guys decide to ask me for another vid. This gameplay that you're observing here should give you an idea of what you will see in the forthcoming sequel. Well, not like the sequel is in the DLC pack. Uh, he carries about a fourth of Dante's moveset, which should account for 24 to 26 moves. He has three judgment cuts, three teleports. He has the round trip. He has... Uh, a launcher, a move of descent, uh, moves that represent hit stun and duration, and that's about it. He only carries one style. Sorry, had to turn down the volume there. Had to turn down the music there for a bit. Anyway, as I was saying, Virgil carries one style, which is known as Dark Slayer. This is what provides him his ability to teleport in between three to four different directions. He can overhead the enemy, he can teleport in front, behind, and he can also teleport automatically toward the enemy. Virgil, let me rephrase, he can teleport just away from any projectiles. He can teleport stationarily. He just, he, he's in midair, he can stay still, but also phase through it. Like, it's almost like phasing through, like a ghost. Virgil has the ability to teleport in about three and a half directions, I'd say. Uh, without the lock-on, it's going to be very different. They might tailor it to dodge buttons. I'll give you a sort of uh, prediction for what I feel will be uh, con like as a control for Virgil. Instead of a an ability to dodge, perhaps he will get three teleport buttons. Although that sounds pretty stupid. That's just about what Ninja Theory's decisions have been. For Dante, anyway. They've butchered him. Now, the thing is, I sounded like a childish brat when I was playing the game, the main campaign, originally. But Virgil is my favorite character of the series. And no, uh, I haven't taken that kindly to Nero just because of his use of the Yamato. If anything, I still miss Virgil. I've played all of his incarnations. Now, for the downfall pack, I am very concerned about what I have seen in the trailers. As with his older brother, or younger brother, I'm sorry, he is very sluggish. Um, the frame cap may uh, attest to that. He does have a diverse moveset, and he no longer has weapons featured from his previous title, from Devil May Cry 3. He no longer carries the Beowulf Gauntlets, nor does he have a second sword, i.e. the Force Edge. Which means that he will simply have an elaboration of moves for his, his existing weapons. And he will be bequeathed the doppelganger style. It has been implied that he will be using stances. Perhaps the stances will be representative of the doppelganger. This I do not know. But here I am going to present the way to play Virgil. Not a big tutorial, but a bit of an uh, oversight on his abilities. So that you don't get lost and that if you don't know anything about him, you probably should by now. It's been a while. And I will continue to say that despite my review of DMC, despite my playthrough of it, and despite my anticipation for this downloadable pack, Capcom 
the next Devil May Cry that comes out, please outsource it to Hideki Kamiya and Platinum. I mean, it would be doing the series certain justice. Certain justice because of the man who created it and gave rise to the genre. Okay, now with that disclaimer, with that enormous uh, disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to try and actually be quiet here so you guys can see more of the gameplay. Enjoy! Now I'm a little motivated. 